You are welcome to the part two of this teaching. God bless you. If you have missed the part one, you refer to our YouTube channel, Christian News Update YouTube channel to get the complete set of this message. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Well, who were what? Who were, who were on a world, on a supremacy agenda? And the people united and they did what? And they fought against, against the world, against their enemy. Look at what has been happening in the nation Israel for, for over some years now. About some years now, there have been political turtle in, 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 a, in, a, in Israel. Do election, they will do it again, do it again. And the pressure is mounting and it's becoming worse than ever before. But recently, they had a clash now. Hamas has been firing a rocket into Israel, hitting hard. So the people now have to now work. They now have to leave all their various uh, political divides. And they came up together now. And they are now what? They are now fighting back at the Palestinians. Amen. At Hamas and the rest. Of because Iran too is, is Iran and the rest of the Arab countries say they will they must they, will, they are mobilizing against Israel. So and Israel divided, they cannot stand. They cannot work. So something as well has brought them together. So and you now discover that there are two things that can work, that can make us to work, to come together. That can unite us, two things. That can unite the people of God. Two things. One is, is persecution. What do I call it? Persecution. Number two is what? Number two is what? It's what is called a revival. The first thing that can make us to, to agree and all unite is what? The first thing is a revival. What do I call it? Uh, what is the Revival Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15 is what? It is the outpouring of what? Of the Spirit of God. We saw in the scriptures that one of the hallmark of the, of the Pentecost of Acts chapter 2 was what? Was that it brought the believers to a place of agreement and unity. To the extent that people will go and sell what they have and bring the money and lay at their apostle feet, that they had no need. There was no need among them. Why there is so much, so much, you know, you know, issues like, a, you know, I want to bless the Lord. One of our brother, a Muslim convert, who is a pastor in the north. He's a friend and the, and, the, and the brother. Had challenges of paying his house rent. Amen. And the landlord was, was hard on him. And, and he called me, said, Pastor, please, see my problem. Will you not do intervention for me also? I'm a Muslim convert. Will you not do intervention? And what did I do? I raised the prayer, I raised the, 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 the call in two platforms. On the rapture, on the uh, global update friends and partners platform, and on the AFD. And that night, I raised it. A sister called me that she wants to do something. I said, Fine. Later, another sister also was telling me a child that she wants to do something. Amen. So the next day, one of the staff asked me to send an account. That was yesterday. Yesterday was a uh, Wednesday. I sent an account. And she sent 75,000 naira. And I quickly cried and I called a young man, say, come on, see what had happened. Because he was, he was, he told me that he left Sabo, he was going to Tutuana to go and meet one Muslim man to beg for money. And I asked him to return back. That, he, that cannot happen. That happened. Amen. And then I called him yesterday morning, and immediately he called me that he has seven, seven. I said, come, there is 75,000 for your rent now. Before I, he said, I speak in tongues. Enjoy. And yesterday, as I was coming from a job, and yesterday I branched at the song where I had a, a bank and I had a team, I did a transfer. And he was happy. And I trusted God that he has to still, still do something to finish the payment, to give him the remaining balance, so that he can, he can so that as he's, in, as he's doing the work, he will be what? He will be doing it with joy. Amen. So, and I look at myself, I say, ah, God, thank you that I even had the opportunity to even talk to people and somebody agree. Because if the people didn't believe, they didn't agree with me, would have viewed, they have not brought the money. They would have not brought the money. So what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that we need the world to have to be united. Let's see the scriptures. One of the reasons why the church is so divided, amen, praise Lord, we may have our different, you know, you know, you know, you know, things we believe. Now, you must understand that what we're talking about, we're not, we're not talking about unity of, of, of doctrine, we're talking about unity of faith. We may have our various differences. In, it depends. I believe in pre tribulation rapture. Some other believe, I believe in what? In post tribulation rapture. So, these things are not the basis. Because we know in part now, but later we shall know in full. All I know is that rapture is going to, all of us believe that rapture is going to take place. 
But when it's going to take place, it's a contention. So those things are not our primary thing. Paul had his belief. Peter had his belief, but they had a place of what? A place of coming together. A place of agreement. And the long run, they believed. They came together and said, now, now, Paul, you go ahead with your Gentile. We will continue with the Jew. But only tell them that they must not eat things that are strangled to all. Things that are strangled and meat offered to idol. And they must keep it for fornication. They had an agreement. Amen. So we must not all, we have our various differences. But we must have a place of unity. The unity of what? The unity of faith. That I am a brother in Christ. You are a brother in Christ. We are all baptized in the name of the same God, the same Jesus, in the name of the same Holy Ghost and the same Father. Father. We are washed the same, the same blood. All that things are not, they are not the necessity. The, 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 the basic thing is that we are, we are the we, we are the children of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We all believe that Jesus came to die for us. And then he resurrected. He stayed 40 days and went back to heaven. And he's coming again for his church. If you like, believe that his second coming. You don't believe in rapture. Now you say, when the time comes, we shall know. <laughs> but you don't believe that, that, that this rapture is when he's the second coming. Anyone you believe, believe, hold your belief. But the best thing, do you believe in Jesus? Are you living holy life? Are you living righteous life? Because that is always going to count. He said, be holy as I want. As I'm holy. So, the basic thing is that what? We all believe in Jesus. We are all baptized in the, in, in the Spirit, in water and of the Holy Ghost. We are all born again. So, the other things are secondary. They are what? They are secondary. If, if Jesus decides to do it, if any time he's going to come, if he likes, it's going to be only one appearance. I don't know first. If you like, let it be that we are passing through tribulation. If those who say it's tribulation are passing through now. Let's see it now. Say seven years will come and go because the tribulation has number of years. Then we will not know who is right and who is wrong. So hold on to your belief. Let's not, let not because of, I have my own, my, my what I believe as a Bible scholar. So let those things not divide us. The fact that I preach tribulation, pre-tribulation rapture, and you preach mid-tribulation or post-tribulation does not, should not divide us. We must have a common ground. There must be what? There must be unity. We must unite to forge a common cause. We must unite to take over all the lost territory in Africa to Jesus. We must unite to recover all the places that the Fulani Caliphate have taken over. All the villages in Plateau. No less than 80 villages have taken over Fulani Caliphate. We should unite and take over those villages. We must unite and what? And take over the villages in Tarabo. More than 200 villages have taken over. We must unite to put them away from them. We must unite to put the anywhere it belongs to. Amen. And we are saying that one of the key things that will bring the unity is what? Is revive what? Revival. And that is why the church must labor for revival. Because the Bible says, until what? The spirit of the Lord be what? Be poor. We will continue to fight against ourselves until there is revival. Because revival has been known to what? To bring God's children together. Let's look at Acts chapter 4. Are we there? Acts chapter 4, verse 32. Acts 4, 32. So when we, when we are united, we can achieve more. A missionary coming, Pastor Elia coming today from Kaya, from Berra. I mean Berra, in, in Kaya, local government of Wana State. That yesterday night, that, uh, that uh, uh, breeze blew off the roof of it. I know his house has been to his mission field before. Breeze carried the house yesterday and removed it completely. So the young man is looking for money to rebuild the house. Amen. So, but if you are united, like I did, I did, I did for Jamilu. Amen. I will, I will raise a call and people also, we are planning this. Most money people are bringing together because we want to send clothes and money to the IDP, one of the mission people here in, a, in, a, in a Nanu village, in that Kayam house, where, he's, where he has a, a mission out, uh, outpost also. We are planning to put money together. I think a few money have gone, but we want to see whatever we gather between now. And, then, and next week, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, we are going to push clothes that we are gathering another money for them to buy food stuff for the over 1,000 displaced families who are displaced from major the KB, two local men in KB, and then about one or two local men also in Nigeria State. Praise the Lord. So, but when we are all united, we will be fighting, we will be, we'll be, the church, see, look at the need in the, in the IDP camp all over. Amen. Now I'm trying to travel to the north to visit some IDP camps. No money is on ground. 
the people are hungry. The children are out of school. So if we are united, we can what? We know that, ah, these people, we agree together. We can take care. The Nigerian church, without even aid coming from other our brethren abroad, can take care of these IPPs. But we are not united. We have not agreed. That is our responsibility to take care of them. Praise the Lord. The other day, uh, when, when, when uh, Pastor Moses, the, 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 the church member who needed a, 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 a daughter that would stay with their mother, he been called me and then and I, and I told Charles they should get, a, a, because they said they needed the gear they can train between the age of seven and nine. And then Charles got one, 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 one gear between the age of seven and nine. They said because they said they want to take care of the child, education, everything, the family. You know, the son of the woman who called is a medical doctor in Africa. They want to take care of the girl. They want the girl to go to a good school. So Pastor Moses say was crying that day because the girl that Charles brought is the, the, the father is a missionary. And the girl is nine years and she has never gone to school. Because the parent, the missionary doesn't have money to take care of the child. So now the girl is going to be need to go and stay with the family and they take care of her. So Pastor Moses will tell me, he said, Do you mean it is as this bad? I say, sir. Why I wanted you to, I, I wanted you, I link you up so that you can hear from the mission feed. So that let's not be me, I'm in Lagos now. Let it be that the people from, from the village in Taraba will speak to me. It's bad. A missionary working for the Lord. The daughter is nine years old. They, they cannot put the child in school because in the village where they are, there is no school. Where he's doing mission, there's no school there. And the young man does not have money to take the, the gear to school in Jalingo or to the city. And why is this so? And then the, the, the caliphate are busy buying motorcycles and going to villages and converting our people. Because the church have not agreed that this interior mission work is our responsibility. Churches are busy building cathedrals in the city. Somebody will tell me that they say, eh, that all these all these things they are doing, uh, all this uh, cathedral, uh, redeem camp, all this uh, living faith, there is only one bomb they will throw and they will destroy them. You look at it, and, I, and and when he said that, you know, he said that I was now like he said eh, because uh, uh, the boy is not supporting no uh, this one or that, that this all this one that they will just, there is only one bomb. And I look at it when he spoke that he was joking, I was thinking about it later. That you see the vanity, and it's true, one bomb is enough. To blow off the hundred thousand capacity they are making noise with. Carry one a book now, come there now, and drop bomb and go. <laughs> it's enough. And we have more than that lesson. Praise the Lord. So there is much work to do, and the church is not now. Neymar has been talking about going in north, north Nigeria and North Africa. Go to North Africa and see what is happening for yourself. North Africa, Christianity came to North Africa before any place, even before Europe. If you don't know, we had more prominent Christian, early Christian scholar in North Africa than in Europe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know that the people they call the monk, the monk, the monastery, Egypt first had monastery before anybody. It was an Egyptian that started monastery, monastery life. Augustine of Hippo is from, is from North Africa. Praise the Lord. Go and read such history. And all these places, Islam came and overran Christianity. And the Lord have destined that it is the Nigerian church that they will use the world to revive those nations. And the church have not yet come to agreement that this is what we must do. And then began, begin to war. Begin to war from our own Jerusalem, which is Nigeria. Capture, look at, go, go to Ogun State here. You see Mission, mission Field, that the, where churches are before. Today, today there's no church again. In Ogun State, in your State, go and see for yourself. I've been there. Hallelujah. Why is it so? Because the church is what? We are so much divided. We are not, we have not come to agreement. We are not united. And why is it so? Because we lack what? We lack revival. Are we there? Acts chapter 4, verse 32. Acts 4, 32. He said, And the multitude of them that believe were of one. Brethren, we continue in the part three of this message. God bless you in Jesus' name.